I will continue actually space was full so I have to delete something and we will start this again. So because decarboxylation happened immediately they saw that some kind of assistance must be there. So COH if it is far no nitrogen cannot assist in decarboxylation. So this COH must be in the neighboring carbon and they later synthesized both of them and they saw that physical property was same as this for hygrinic acid. So one thing is clear this uh, COH is next to it. So now COH has formed from here. So starting material we know it is having ketonic group and number of carbons left is only 3. So there are two possibilities either it could have been this molecule CH2 COCH3 or COCH2 CH3. Both were synthesized and one was confirmed to be high green. Okay, same physical properties were same. And then they synthesized it. So they did pyrrole. They reacted with CS3MGBR. So you know as uh, CS3MGBR. So it is CS3 minus MGBR plus. It's a very powerful nucleophile, also very powerful base. So this takes away proton and forms an MGBR. Then they reacted with this part. So now you know it's like negative charge N minus Mg plus. So this will go here, this will come here, and this will come and attack. Now where it will attack? It will attack the less hindered side. If it was having positive charge, then attack would have happened here. Because this will have more positive character. And because it will stabilize positive charge more. But attack happens here because there is no positive charge here. Attack here less cinder size, this opens up, and you're getting CH2, this one OH, and they reduced with uh, H2 and PT. So this reduces, and then they use HCHO. This is a very strange reaction, but yeah, that's what they used, and they got CS3 here, CH2, CO, CS3 plus minus high green. They got mixture. Okay. Next is we need to know few medicinal properties of few molecules. First one is quinine. So you know a lot of news is news it is there quinine chloroquinine all this was used for malaria it is taken out from cinchona plant so it is used for treatment of malaria and babyosis you don't need to know the whole structure but you should have some idea not that an examination will ask but you should have some idea it, i can ask you for what it is used so malaria and babyosis right and then medicinal properties of morphine so morphine you heard about it. it's a drug so when you get bad injury, you know, very bad injury, accident, then doctors give you huge amount of morphine so that you just sleep, your pain will remove. So uh, is from again opiate family, uh, opiate family. It is found naturally in plants and animals, including human beings. It attacks directly on CNS and used as sedative pain reliever. Very interesting story. I'll tell you about this. So even when you get small amount of hurt, when you hit uh, something, Immediately body produces this morphine not exactly morphine little different structure and structure is very similar It is called as endorphins interestingly. This is non-addictive but This endorphins when you uh, you know morphine is um, the main problem. It is big drug addict You know that's why it is not available on desk you go and ask any medical shop They won't give you but if doctor writes and gives they will give you right so but endorphins they synthesize in lab and then when you start giving endorphin outside, you start taking it from outside. This also becomes addictive. That's very interesting. Okay. Cocaine. So cocaine, you know, it's a very, very famous drug. So this is also like doctors used when you are in super depression. They'll give a little bit so that you come out of depression. But it is used, uh, you know, it's a abuse drug. They used for uh, strong, strong uh, stimulant, frequently used as recreational drugs. So in parties and all they'll use. So it leads to loss of contact with reality, intense feeling of happiness or agitation. Okay, it is CNS stimulant and local anesthetic. The last one is reserpine. So this is the reserpine. You see how complicated it is. It is used in treatment of high BP and hypertension. Okay, thank you. With this, I finish your whole syllabus for semester number four. Thank you very much.